Okay, so adding a race dash to a car is like a, a big thing. And most of the options out there are pretty expensive. And there's a couple ways to do cheap dashes. Now, we run a lot of fuel techs here. And the fuel tech FT450 is great, comes with a screen. The 550 is great, comes with a screen. But the 550 is really expensive. The 550 Lite doesn't come with a screen. So I'm trying to come up with a way to add a screen of a decent size without having to pay as much as you would for a full FT550. And this also can be used to just give you a bigger screen for your fuel tech because the screens can be considered kind of small, especially if you sit far away from where you have to mount them. So I designed a very simple thing I'm going to show you guys how to do where you have this run on a tablet, a Windows tablet, when Windows starts and it does the following. It's going to open FT Manager. Then when FT Manager opens, it's going to click to make sure it's on it. And it's going to launch the dashboard. This is just a generic dashboard that I came up with as an example. So this would be displayed on your tablet if that's what you're using. Or for some reason you want to mount a whole laptop in your car, go for it. So this is really easy to do. It's going to seem really complicated when I start explaining it. But if you follow along, it's pretty straightforward. These are the steps. That's it. Now, I don't know why I have Python in there twice. You need to install something called Python, which if you Google Python installer, it comes right up. It's basically a coding language to write scripts and programs. You're going to then install PY Auto GUI which to do that, you're just going to open Python or open your command uh, thing, uh, command prompt, and you're gonna type in PIP and then PY Auto GUI. Once that's done, you're then gonna do the same thing with the PY installer. You then need to install something called Auto Hotkey just because we need a feature off of it which is called uh, Window Spy. You'll see why in a minute. And then obviously you have to have your Fuel Tech Manager installed. So once you do all of that, which all of this takes all of maybe five minutes to do, Python being the largest install to do. And if you have any questions about how to do something like this, there's tons and tons of videos out there on how to do it. I already have this installed in this computer, so I'm not going to do it all again. This is just to show you guys the basics on how to do it. So now, when all this is installed, we're going to want to set up our dash in FT Manager the way that we want to run it. So I'm going to fire up Fuel Tech. I already have the dash made, but I'm going to show you guys how to just set one up. Now, you have the default dash down the bottom. This is a little bit of a modified one. And you'll notice right now that it's in just the small thing. Now, if I pop up the dashboard, I'm getting this already because this is what it looked like when I closed down the program. This is already full screen. So if we go like this, you know, we move it and do this and yada, yada. So I'm going to just now not have it full screen. I'm going to have it like this. If you close the software, this is how things will be. So you close this down and it goes away, right? We revert back to this. And we close this down. Now, if we open FT Manager again, which I wish it would boot up a little faster. But if we open FT Manager again and we do pop up dashboard, we should get exactly what we just had. So we're going to go pop up dashboard and we get exactly the same window, everything that we already had, right? So I'm just going to full screen this again. Okay. So again, just, just to show, you know, not trying to beat a dead horse here, just trying to show the example. We're going to close it the way we want it. And then we're going to uh, open it back up and show you. Now, you don't need to configure your dashboard exactly how you want it set up. You just need to get the window where you want it set up. That's the most important part of this. So we're back. All right. Now, with this open, we're going to minimize everything. And we are going to start editing code. The code I'm going to put... Um, in the description of this so you can just copy and paste it basically what we're going to be doing is having the uh, the script hijack your mouse and keyboard and make everything work so when the program is run it's going to start FT manager now 
you need to make your directory correct. So your file location for the ftmanager.exe. This is our wait 15 seconds. Now, if your tablet is slow or it takes a while to open, you adjust this accordingly. Really only need to change this one value right here. The rest of them are just for reference. Now, something very important is you want to make sure that the program is what is selected. So sometimes what can happen is, you know, you'll launch your program, but say something else pops up or it or some other application gets in the way. From here on out, our hotkeys that we're trying to use are not going to work. So we're going to verify the program as mouse selected. So we're just going to have it click anywhere on this program. Uh, to select where you want that to happen, I have these XY coordinates. I got that by running the window spy. And this is from that hotkeys thing we downloaded. And you notice as I move my mouse around, our screen position changes with XY coordinates. This part right here is just something that's going to be dependent on what size screen you have. So I just have it clicking somewhere around right here. I believe, or right around here. So it just clicks right there, just to verify that we're using that. And then we want it to do the pop-up dashboard. And there's a hotkey for that. We have the hotkey of F12. So this right here, basically waits half a second after doing this, automatically does the F12 key for you. Then, in some cases, if you want it to enlarge after it has opened. So for instance, if you have it so that it opens up like this, where it's not fully sized, you obviously want it to automatically maximize. Now, why would you want to open like this? Because maybe you're just going to run this program to open fuel tech and get it ready to go. I'm just trying to cover all the bases here. So we open our window spy and you can see as I hover over that enlargement screen, I have a mouse position. So 1839, uh, is my X and my Y uh, 254. So what we will do is we will go into our code and adjust that. So like 850 by 270, which I think ironically is about where this, yeah, so that would work here. You can have this here, or you can just completely get rid of this if you're going to have it enlarged already. So I'm going to leave that there so you guys can see that it'll also enlarge the program automatically. So to test this, we are going to copy this. We're going to open Python, and we're going to enter it in, and then hit Enter. And now it's going to run. Now it's going to click. And you saw how it full screened by itself. This looks different because I've done a couple takes of this and moved some stuff around uh, just because I messed up the audio. So it is that simple to get it working, and then again, you know, you can do this and it'll bring it back to this size and we'll exit back out. So we know that our code works. Now we need to make it so that we don't have to copy and paste this in and, and do all that stuff to get it to run. Because at the end of the day, we we kind of want this to, to be its own thing, right? So you saw how at the beginning I was able to click on FT test shortcut and it was able to run. We can make this run automatically when Windows boots up. So, what we need to do now is using the PY installer that we put in earlier, we're going to convert this into a usable program. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go save as. Now, in my Python scripts, we're going to call this FT test 2 and make sure you save it as a PY. That's something I forgot to do. Okay, so we have it right here. Now, we're going to get the directory information for this. So we're going to right click on it, properties. This is where our location is right here. We're going to copy all that. So this is our script here. We're going to type in CD and then space. We're going to copy this. We're going to go into command prompt. We're going to enter it in. So now we are working there. Now we are going to do the PY installer. Now the name of our script is FTTest2. So we're going to paste this space FTTest2.py. We're going to run it. It's going to do its thing. 
Okay, and now it's done. And now under the dist folder, we have our application. So now when we run this application, it should open FuelTech and it should make that window larger and make the full screen dash. So we're going to run it. Starting FT Manager. It's going to click on. It's going to F12 and it's going to enlarge. And we're ready to go. So this software that we wrote, this is software, this is a program, can now be made to run when Windows is opened. Uh, you can Google for that. Um, because I don't want it to, <laughs> to do that on this computer and then forget about it and be confused when I open it. But again, this will work on pretty much any Windows tablet. You can then use it as a dash for a fuel tech. Uh, I am working on trying to do this for Hall Tech next, which should be pretty much the same process. And then I'm going to pick away at doing it for other things. I am working on a GUI so that you don't have to edit code and do all this Python stuff so that you can just, you know, enter in the information you want and it will do it, but not really there yet. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email and I can try to help you with it. But again, right now, this works specifically for Hall uh, for fuel tech. I'm working on Hall tech and I might start working on others as well. If people are interested in this, if you're interested in having, this done by us we can remote in and do this on your uh, tablet for you just shoot us an email our email is on our website thefastreligion.com